reasons I became a hairdresser uh, is because um, I had, well, first of all, I had to think of something that I wanted to do for a living. You know, when you get to that age of school and, and you get to the age where you uh, are discussing what you're going to do uh, for a living or a career. And uh, so, of course, you know, my high school aptitude test came out uh, either uh, dental, medical, or cosmetologist. And because I've always been very artsy, used to win art contests and things like that in school, um, I just went that avenue. And first of all, I had a couple of friends uh, that were in the school and doing it. I know, like, I can think of three or four girls right now, Charlotte, Marie, Bonnie, uh, Anna, um, I can think of uh, all these hairdresser friends of mine that I remember I'd be like, well, I can do that. And so that's how it started. And so I enrolled at the Roberto's College of Beauty in Fremont, California. And it was considered a very prestigious school at the time. Um, actually, it was at a time when moose had just been invented. I mean, that tells you a little bit of the era. But anyway, the big sticking up a uh, spiky hair was coming in style and so it was kind of a fun time to uh, become a hairdresser you know I think before that it was still the 60s and 70s 70s were just everybody just wanted their hair part down the middle and long and straight and then pretty soon I think what it was was um uh Farrah Fawcett got her hair cut you know with layers and real pretty so uh you know a lot of girls wanted to start looking uh like uh, the, the women on tv and anyway, that was just a gorgeous, gorgeous hairdo. I mean, who didn't have that hairdo? I just, I don't know anyone who didn't, you know. And uh, so that was very iconic time. Um, in the meantime, though, I go back to, you know, when I think of iconic people and when I was a little girl, I always thought I was going to have my own show and I was going to be not only the, the comedian, I'd be the singer, you know, it was just my whole own show. And uh, it was because I just adored Diana Ross. And I just wanted to be her. You know, my middle name is Diana. But anyway, that's just where you, I can tell you that uh, it's always been exciting for me to be able to create and just have, right like here, having the freedom to just get to say whatever the hell I want. You know, it's kind of fun. But anyway, so life in the salon. Let's get back to that because... Um, we are here to discuss about why I became a hairdresser. Uh, one of the reasons was that I love people, you know, and I found out that people uh, make the day go by faster. And uh, that is the honest truth, you know. I know I joke about uh, how much you guys are a pain in the ass sometimes, uh, but uh, I do really, really, really like you. I'm not lying, I, I do, and I love people. Um, I can't say it enough. <laughs> But, uh, so I guess, yeah, you have to really, really enjoy humans, you know. And that's one thing about Gabby working in Harry Tail Salon. She has to deal with the humans. And, oh, 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 oh. Do you remember that old commercial? Do you remember that old commercial where they would say, the house, the kids, the dog, you know, I need a, a bath, you know, probably a Calgon bath or something. <clears throat> The house, the kids, the dog, you know, and that poor little doggy is just there like, you know, like, yeah, you know that look. And uh, so anyway, for Gabby, it's the house, that's the dog house, <laughs> it's the pups and the humans. Oh my gosh, the humans. Sometimes they drive her kind of nuts. Um... Anyway, so yeah, this car the cartoon is kind of silly. Uh, it's uh, just the stories of what goes on uh, through the hairdresser's head. Well, this hairdresser's head, not, my, not mine, but what's going on through Gabby the Chihuahua hairdresser's head, you know? She, um, you know, life through the eyes of a Chihuahua. I mean, you can't, um, you know, right, right, right? I mean, how they are just so, so cute and so sweet. But um, this is a feisty little thing, although Gabby isn't much of a yapper, she never was. Uh, this chihuahua, she will hold her own, even with the big dogs. <laughs> 